Hey, you guys. Um, I had a question on TikTok, and so it was way too lengthy of an answer to put over there. I am going to put this up on YouTube so I can give you a step-by-step. -step. So I talked about how you can use Google Forms and um, have people subscribe to your newsletters and those types of things. So I'm going to actually walk you through uh, a little bit more of this process and show you how automated it can become, if that makes sense. So the question was, um, you know, will this actually work basically? So here's the steps I want to take you through. So um, if you haven't watched yet, there's a video on how to set up your website for free using sites, uh, Google Sites, um, how to link it to a domain name, and um, how to link up your subscriptions is also in there. And so what I want to show you is this is my form that I created for subscribing to my newsletter. Under Google Forms, it's free to create. And all I do is collect emails and their name, and that is it. Um, and then once I'm ready, then I can, if I hit send, I can copy that link and I can embed this wherever I want it. I can also shorten the URL to make it more, you know, streamlined, whatever. Okay, so this is the basic form, right? So when you start getting responses to your email, first of all, you're gonna actually get an email. Um, you'll see right here, Google Forms, your form, the dream lifestyle can be yours now, has new responses, one new response. So you're gonna get notified and you can actually label these in Gmail so that they go to um, a specific folder so that every time it comes in, it goes to a specific folder. I'm not going to take you through that right now, but you will get notified every time the form is filled out. Let me go back over to the form. So here's the responses. Now, this is a new form, and I just did a sample run on it so that you guys could see what exactly... Um, happens. So you're going to get notified about the responses, right? This is a different form than I just got the email for. So this is my, um, my own response. So who responded? One response, their name. So this is the cool thing. Up here, you'll see there is a create a spreadsheet. So you can create a spreadsheet from the responses. And you can add the responses to the spreadsheet. If you've already created a new sheet and you want to add more information, then you're going to select existing spreadsheet to add the information to it. You're going to create it and it is going to organize all of your emails, everything else that you have. Now, auto response. Um, actually, before I go to auto response, I do want to show you one thing. So whenever you're setting up your um, subscribe to the newsletter or whatever form you've got, um, you've got some settings in here, right? Your presentation, your quizzes, those types of things. You also have the option, let's see if I can find it now. Um, okay, so under presentation, under settings here, under presentation, you have the option for a confirmation message that everybody that fills out the form is going to receive. As you can see, I just put, thanks for submitting your contact info. Please enjoy a copy of my free ebook and someone will be in touch soon. And then I linked up my ebook here so that whenever somebody fills out this subscription form, this is the response they're going to get. And so they have the option. They have the option to click right here and get a free copy of my ebook. Now you can make this link up to whatever you want. You can make this say whatever you want it to say um, and put any kind of a link in there. So that's step one of the auto response, okay? Um, the next step is actually gonna be over in Gmail. And I actually went to an article that someone had written because it was way easier to show you guys this than it was to uh, take you step by step. So um, this is how it works with Gmail you um, can go in to your settings. So I'm just gonna go really slow through this. You're gonna go to your settings. You're gonna go click on advanced in the menu, then select enable to canned responses templates, okay? So you're gonna hit advanced and then enable. 
You're just going to save your changes. Now you can go to the canned responses. So once they're enabled, you can create a new email by clicking the compose icon in the upper left hand corner and typing out the message you want to be automatically sent out. Once you're finished, click on the three dots in the email window to bring up the email options. Select canned responses and then new canned response. Next, a window will pop up where you can name your canned response. Type in the name and select OK. So whatever you want it to be, OK. Now that your auto response has been saved as a canned response, you're ready to use it as an auto response to specific emails. So you're going to go back into settings again. You're going to create a new filter. So under filters and blocked addresses, you're going to create a new filter. In the next window that pops up, choose which rules you'd like to apply for the Gmail filter. You can opt in, opt to include certain from email addresses. So this is where, you know, if you go to my inbox, you can see that this is coming from Google Forms, right? Now, if you have multiple Google Forms, you're going to have to be a little bit more specific about how you do this. But if you want everybody to receive the same email message, then you're good to go. So you're going to create a filter and you're going to then tell it what you're looking for. And then you're going to choose a canned response to whatever email. So we're looking for anything from Google Forms. We're going to send a canned response to them. Then we're going to pick the canned response that we want to send to them and create that filter. And that's basically how it goes. So it says, we got your email. Here's an example. We got your email. Here's what to expect next. So it's going to respond to them. Hi, Dave. Thanks for the email. We're working on your request and we'll get back to you within six business hours. Thanks again, Mary. So you they've used the template that's inside of the response system inside of Gmail. It automatically will put fill in the name of whoever it came from and it will send that canned message and it looks very personal. And then there you go. And so I mean, they give you some other examples on this website. Um, this is writeinbox.com forward slash blog forward slash how to create an auto reply in Gmail. I will link this up in the uh, description of this video so you guys can go back to it and refer. But it's super easy to create those auto responses. And you can send through Gmail up to 10,000, uh, or no, I'm sorry, up to 2,000 messages per day. Okay. Um, so you can send 2,000 messages per day. You can auto forward up to 10,000 messages per day, recipients per message, 2,000. So like there's, the limits are pretty high on this. So, you know, if you're looking for a free way to be able to do uh, email marketing, at least in the beginning until you've really got yourself, you know, situated, this is a great option that is not going to cost you anything. Um, if you're working from your mobile device, there are some different limits. So you're going to want to check into those. Uh, and yeah, and you just want to make sure that you um, adhere to spam rules. So uh, you may want to put some sort of a disclaimer. I mean, whenever somebody gives you their email and their name um, on a subscription form, they are subscribing. And at the bottom of your... Um, email, it should just say that they have the option to unsubscribe at any time. Uh, so that would be something I would add into your template if it doesn't automatically pop up there. So um, I think that that should help you guys out. So this is, if you go to my website, wendyjoedavis.com and hit that subscribe button, then that is going to take you over to that subscription uh, form, you fill it out, you're going to get the response. So this is how I have it integrated into my website. Uh, and then I also created a footer at the bottom. And again, remember, this was a free website. Um, it's not fancy. I haven't, I purposely not made it fancy. I don't really um, do a lot with it, but I do use it as a landing page. And I have a lot of hidden pages in here.
my computer had a moment. <laughs> I have a lot of hidden pages that you can't see in here that are in my Google Sites page, which I use for landing pages and those types of things. So uh, any questions, as always, just put them in the comments below this video. I will do my best to answer them in a timely manner. You guys have an amazing day. Make sure to like and subscribe